We've looked at basic playback commands, and in this video, I want to look at looping, how to loop a certain section over and over again. Now, the idea with looping is that we're doing three things. We need to set a start time for the loop to begin at, an end time for where it's going to end at, and we need to enable looping. So we have a loop module here in the control bar, and it's visible up here. And to make sure it's visible, right click on the control bar and make sure loop module is showing, and it is here. And once we're right clicking, let's look at the control bar for a moment. We can float the control bar and have it free floating so we can position it wherever we want. And you can dock it either at the bottom or at the top. And you see it becomes highlighted in blue. And I can just release the mouse and it'll redock itself. Or I can click dock at the top or bottom. So we do that and then we enable or disable the specific modules that we need. So here's the loop module. Basically, this is used to turn looping on and off. This is used to set the loop in and out points automatically based on a selection. And here we can type in the start time for the loop manually and here the end time manually. And the same thing, we can use spaces, colons, decimal points as separators between the fields. So let's say I type in one space three and just hit enter. That means it's going to start at bar one beat three. And then here if I type in, let's say two space four and hit enter, it's going to end at bar two, beat four. If I turn it on here, you'll see, and there it is. And you see it represented with this yellow line. So once we have the loop enabled here, it'll loop that section over and over again. We can set the loop points by dragging the ends like that. And the ends quantizing, the movement is quantizing based on my snap to grid value that I have here. And by quantizing, if you're not familiar with that term, I mean rounding off, snapping to these specific grid increments based on what's set here. So we can do that for, for the front or the end and set the loop points like that. So you notice that I started playback from before the loop and it played back from there, but once it got to the end, it looped that area over and over again. We can move the loop range by clicking in the middle and getting that double arrow, and we can just move the whole selection like that while preserving the actual length of the loop area. And let's turn looping on and off there with that. And we can also create a selection. So let's say I click like that. I can now use this button and it'll automatically be set to that selection. And I'll turn it off again and I can select in a track as well if I want. And again, the dragging is also being quantized based on this snap to grid value. So it really affects a lot of the actions that you're going to be doing in Sonar. So it's very important to be cognizant of your snap mode if it's on, if it's off, and what the value is set at. So we can also use W to rewind to the beginning of the loop. Now, we noticed in the last video that W rewinds to the beginning of the project. But if I hit it now, it goes to the beginning. If I hit it again, it'll go to the beginning of the loop area. So it can toggle back and forth, W, 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 between the beginning of the project and the beginning of the loop area. Very useful. Now, let me show you a couple of shortcuts. We can, let's say I turn this off. Let's say we create a little time selection like that, we can just hit Shift L, and that'll automatically set the loop range to the selection and turn it on. So Shift L is your friend. And we can just use the shortcut L to turn the loop mode on and off. So it toggles this button here, L to turn it on or off, and Shift L to automatically set it to whatever time range you have, Shift L, and turn it on. Now another thing we can do, I'm going to hit L to turn it off, is if we have a time range selection, we can right click in the time ruler and we get a variety of options, set loop points. So I just set it to that range and it turned it on automatically. And we can select the loop region. So let's say I have another selection over here and that's off. I can right click and go select loop region and it automatically selects that area based on where the in and out points were set here. And finally, I can turn looping on and off here as well by right clicking. So lots of ways to control the looping functions. But in my opinion, the most useful commands to get under your fingertips are L and Shift L to quickly set the loop range, Shift L based on a selection, and then L to just toggle it on and off whenever you need it. So that's looping. See you for more in the next video.